Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman from paperclipping.com. We are in the EK Success booth because we're going to look at a completely new, innovative way of stamping and a new, completely different style of stamps. This is Arlene, and she's going to show us a little demo here of how these things work. Right. Our stamping gear has indicators on four sides as well as notches so that you can decide where you want to stamp if you want to go in every slot or every other. All you need to do is stamp your ink onto your stamp. You'll see that you put it onto your paddle. You can either put it on horizontally, vertically, or at an angle. Each time you change the positioning of the stamp on the block, it changes the design. You can just start wherever you'd like. I'm going to stamp in every one. You'll see that as fast as you can stamp, put your ink onto your stamp, you can create your design. If you would need to move the paper slightly, you can do that to get even pressure because it has a non-skid backing on it. And I'm just going to go around here and completely create this as fast as you can hit with the paper. Not only can you do the outside of the wheel, but you can do the inside of the wheel in the same fashion, just going around and hitting I'm hitting every third one here. You can also, if you decide that you want to add more to it, you can just go back and do that. After we have this finished, if you'd like, you can take, let me just put one more in there, and what we'll do is we'll take the cob, which also has the indicators, put it right in the center, and then begin again. Oh my goodness. So do they come together or do you get them separately? You can buy them, the, the cog and the paddle, but you can also buy the deluxe set, which has all four of the tools as well as the paddle and four sets of stamps. They also come with open stock stamps that you can add to your, your selection. They are evenly proportioned when they were designed so that you can interact. You don't necessarily use just one set. You can interact with other sets and blend them together. You can use multiple colors and layers. You can stamp in every other one or you can ink it once and stamp twice to give a shadow effect. That's really cool. I mean, you could go half the paper so you get right. it. You could go off the page uh, using it as a, a crescent or a quadrant. You could create uh, possibly just a small portion to make a skirt on a ballerina. Oh, wow. And then I see you have an oval shape, too. Yep, we do have an oval. Let me just get another piece of paper. There we go. All right, so we're going to maybe see and what kind of a shape oval. would come with the oval. And it works the exact same way as the circle. I'll do every other one here. Oh yeah, I like seeing that. And you can see the difference in the design by going in every other opening versus every one. And there again, you can also do inside. How many different designs are there? There are 17 different sets of stamps that go with this, but you can also use your own stamps. You don't necessarily need to, you, we welcome you to use these, but if you have a favorite holiday stamp and you want to use it to create a wreath or a Christmas card, as long as it fits on the paddle, you can use any cling stamp. Okay, so any cling stamp, it'll, it's the paddle that you need, is what you're right. saying. It's uh -huh. the paddle with the notch that fits into the wheel oh. that makes the system work. That is awesome, and these are rubber stamps. Yes, is that well, right? they're a cling stamp. It's a rubber stamp with a cling background, okay. and you can position it however you would like on the block. Each time, it'll give you a different design. Oh, that is cool. Thanks, Arlene. I'm going to take the camera, and we're going to look at these different designs. Thanks so much. All right, we'll just take a quick stop right over here, and you can see there are lots of different designs, very different from the ones we just saw. We've got some leaves and different organic things here and then look we've even got kind of a sun or moon image type thing here oh I love these letters and numbers those are gorgeous so I guess there's a sample of you maybe using every other or every single one maybe but um, a few more designs down this way this one images from face cards all right so this is called the it looks like it's the Inca Dinka do from EK success I'm Noelle Hyman, and you can find more videos at paperclipping.com.